What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Kiamani, and I'm back at it again with a new video from Julia Hair. I have a 14-inch lace front bob wig, and she came out so cute. So what I started off by doing is I dyed her jet black. Jet black is my new color, and I just feel like it gives the hair and me a little bit more oomph. So I colored her, and I washed her, and this is me drying. The hair texture is straight, so she was pretty straight once I got done blow drying. And I'm going to do a cute side part because the side part is so classy and bomb in a jet black bob unit. So that's what I am doing. I'm going to part her and then I'll pluck her a little bit. But this hairline was already fairly decent, so I didn't have to do much. I'm gonna take my favorite Turn Up The Zone heat protectant that I do get from Sally's and my $30 um, flat iron from Walmart. I forgot what brand it is, but it's a very good flat iron. I 10 out of 10 recommend. And I'm just going to go over the hair. Um, it's already straight, but I just wanted it to look, be um, to tame the puffiness a little bit. And so I'm just flat ironing it, making sure it's silky. And that's what this heat protectant does. It protects the hair and it also gives it a nice shine. After that, I'm taking my razor and I'm touching up the bob a little bit more. To get a super blunt straight across bob, you are going to need an electric razor. I thought I was going to be able to do it with the scissors, but it does not work. I guess unless you use, I guess it does depend on the type of scissors that you use, but it's just way easier to do it with this. And you can literally get one from the dollar store for like five bucks. Next, I'm just going to slap her right on my head just to make sure the part is where I want her to be. And then I trim the lace and slap on a nice thin amount of got to be just to tack the front of her down. I like to melt my lace with um, a piece of elastic when it's drying. I'll tie the elastic around the hairline just because it helps melt it a lot more. And on this unit, I did very subtle baby hair so it didn't take me that long. So after all the styling and cutting, this is the bob that we got. I keep getting so many compliments on this because I usually don't do short hair. And I cut this bob kind of fat if I do say so myself. Look how even. I feel like you can only get this even cut with a razor. So if you are looking for this same blunt kind of look you gotta go buy your razor sis now i did do a bob previously before that had like some waves in it 
So I wanted to show y'all how it looks straight, but I'm gonna put some waves in it too. For the waves, I'm gonna use my waiver that I really just found. I had lost her a little bit ago, and I'm just now finding her. And I'm gonna just take big sections. Now hopefully this is cute, because this is a short bob. I cut her short. So hopefully she don't look too crazy. So this is what she looks like, Ew. and I think I might have missed a couple spots in the back. But I'm just grabbing big pieces. Girl, stop. I'm grabbing big pieces, so I don't really know how crinkly she is in the back, but I feel like she's good enough. But I really, really like this style. It's so grown and mature. I look like a homeowner. <laughs> That's a little inside joke I feel like many wouldn't get because I'm trying to buy me a house. So I'm trying to look grown and sexy. I'm just trying to give you a whole new kid, money. <laughs> so let me know what you think. If you want to pick up this wig and try this look yourself, everything on this is going to be in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.